Now with part two of how to build the best team, we're talking about no money spent here. You're just going to be grinding because time is money at the end of the day. So even though you're not spending any physical cash, that time you're grinding is money in my opinion. And I have nothing against anyone that spends any money on the game. If you got the dough, go ahead and purchase whatever you wish to purchase with it. Because at the end of the day, it's your money. Now, let's go right into it. Let's talk about team affinities. This is something that is going to be very important for each and every single player in MLB The Show 21 because this allows you to basically just grind offline content and get diamond players. And you guys have seen already a bunch of the diamond players. Even at the end of this video, I will show you a bunch of the diamond players that are going to be available at launch. So we're going to go to the team I probably have the lowest percentage of completion at, which is the St. Louis Cardinals. And we're going to be talking about team affinities with them. So stage one, you needed to get 70 points total. I have 24 out of 70. Now, how do you get these points? You might be wondering. Well, there are a bunch of ways to get these points. You can play a game mode called March to October. That's going to allow you to get some points awarded towards the team affinity progress bar. You can do some moments doing these moments will also get you points awarded towards the team affinity bar as you can see it will display how many points it will get you rewarded and once you do it once that is the only time you will get points rewarded if you do it 10 times you're not going to get 30 points trust me on that and then when it talks about collections it's basically talking about completing the entire collection of the team since at the time that i completed this collection Cardinals only had 35 players. You guys see it completed. I didn't have to collect the entire 40. And then the conquest map is usually not at the beginning of the game. This was added later on in the game. But if you had completed the conquest map, you got an extra 30 points. But this is usually what's on the beginning of the game. Now let me go ahead real quick and take off my camera. And I don't know if you guys were able to actually see any of these, but me seeing it real quick you guys probably weren't exactly but it was good enough so we're gonna go ahead and take off this camera or not take it off but cancel it real quick and go back into this grind so when we're talking about the missions that are available at launch keep in mind this is all subject to change with mlb the show 21 but this is usually the rubric that they follow once you achieve 250 innings played with cardinal players you get plus five towards the progress bar now what this means is if you have a player on the team you're getting for each inning played plus one if you have nine players from the cardinals playing on your team per inning you're actually getting plus nine so a team full of cardinal players obviously is going to be able to complete this mission right here multiple times without a problem within i would say five games now it's repeatable so you can do this more than once online it's even less innings because it's probably a lot more difficult to win games with cardinal players in terms of having a full roster since they don't have all diamonds you're going to get a specific mission of italian stats with cardinal players with either first baseman second basements or short stops as you guys see right there once you complete that mission, since you see it is not repeatable, that means you can only complete it once and get those five points awarded to you once. When we're talking about the NL Central Showdown, this is where I'm about to get into Showdown and explain it in entirety for you all. So you all can go ahead, dive into day one, and start getting yourself diamonds. This is repeatable. And then last but not least, we have the Exchange Cardinal Rivals. This is also repeatable and it involves exchanging players. And if you don't know, when you exchange a player, you lose that player forever for whatever the exchange value that player had. So on day one, I don't advise anyone to go ahead and be exchanging players because usually that's when players are the highest in cost. So what are the rewards you're gonna be getting? You might be wondering, well, you get the Cardinal Stadium, you get a pack that contains two bronze Life Series Cardinal players, two silver Life Series Cardinal players, you get the icon to add 
to your top right or what's directly above me you get some stubs you get a gold cardinals player i'm not sure if they're gonna have a gold cardinals prospect as they did this year you then get the nameplate you get one of the sounds from the stadium you get three standard packs that are disguised under the name of team affinity and then you get whatever the cardinals which in mlb the show 21 is jack flaherty in MLB The Show 20, it was Yadier Molina, you get their team affinity card, and then you have to go ahead and complete it all the way to 70, or whatever the maximum is at launch, because when you get to stage two, to get the next diamond, which was Nolan Gorman at the time, or season two, that's what they're gonna call it, and then will be the show 21, you can't just go ahead and jump from 70 to 120. You have to actually grind it from zero if you did not complete anything previously all the way to 120. So you're gonna want to go ahead and max out each and every single team affinity sometime throughout your career before season two drops. That way you don't have to grind it from zero to 120 once season two drops. Now let's get to showdowns because that is going to be the most effective and easiest way. Now keep in mind, this says NL Central Showdown Exchange plus four. There are vouchers. These vouchers are gonna be given to you once you beat showdown. Generally, it's four vouchers. Each voucher is worth four points. So each time you beat showdown, you get to add 16 points to whichever team you are currently working on so 16 32 48 you're gonna be halfway there or more than halfway there to getting yourself yadier molina all you would need to do is one more run to get that yadier molina you would get yourself 16 more points which easily goes ahead and translates to 64 and you can either a fill out the rest to get to 70 or B start working on another team and then do the rest through some other mission. So let's go to showdown. Let's talk about what season one or stage one was of showdowns. Now, each showdown, especially when it comes to team affinities, each section, each season, each stage is going to have its own specific showdown. For example, this was the stages for each specific showdown of stage three you had the west where they combined the al west and nl west so once you beat the showdown you would be getting vouchers for any of those 10 teams provided there you would be getting vouchers for any of those 10 teams provided there for any of those 10 teams provided there then you go to the second stage the second stage they did it for the entire american league and the entire national league so when you beat the american league you'd be getting four vouchers that could be used on any of the stage two American League teams. And then if you beat the National League, you would be getting vouchers for any of the teams of the National League that are in stage two, which are all the teams, obviously. And then stage one, this was probably the more difficult one and the hardest one for sure, because it was specific two divisions so you had a stage one for the AL East, a stage one for the AL Central, a stage one for the AL West, one for the NL lease, etc. And once you beat that division, you would only be getting four points within that division. So at the end of the day, or four vouchers, not four points, excuse me, within the division. So at the end of the day, you had to complete showdown multiple times in order to complete that 50 point requirement to get the diamond of each and every single team. Now let's go into the NL West, or actually let's go into the NL Central because that's the one we have the lowest percentage in. What is showdown what does it consist of there's an entry fee so it's just like battle royale the only difference is that in showdown you get your stubs back a lot easier and you usually are guaranteed a profit especially if you go ahead and play these mini games so let me tell you the rubric of showdown there are mini games which are whatever is blue and then there are mini bosses in these mini games you can fail them if you fail the boss, you have to restart. These you can fail, the red you cannot. When you beat a mini game, usually it tells you how many points it will award towards the score. If you skip all the way to the showdown boss, the final boss, you're usually down zero to 15. Right now it says 10 times stage one affinity vouchers. That's not gonna happen at launch, I promise you that. But this is because it's so late in the game. Anyhow, showdown, you're gonna be down 15 to zero. 
The reason why you have so many of these blue little icons right here, blue little mini games, is because they're going to be adding points to that zero. So if you beat this level, you'll be able to upgrade the drafted team. What is this drafted team? Let's go ahead and do a draft just to show you guys how it works. So we want to go ahead and beat the NL Central. It's going to be giving us players that are not in our inventory yet, unless you went ahead and bought the entire game within the first few couple of days. So let's just go ahead and pick a bunch of players. Usually it does not allow you to pick an entire team. My advice would be to most of the times pick the best hitters because they are going to be necessary, especially when you go to the final boss. And then usually in the final round, you get something called a perk. All of this we're gonna get into. So the perks, there are usually very good perks and then perks that do nothing at all. The usual best two perks are heart attack and defibrillator. It's because this helps you when you're losing. And most of the times when you get to the final boss, you're still losing. And then defibrillator because it helps you out at an 0 count, 1 1 count, 2 2 count. So at the start of every single at bat, you will have a boost to your hitting. Those are the best two hitting perks usually. So as I was saying, when you see it rewards something like a silver live series NL central player and the silver perk, it is talking about adding that to your current run. It does not get added to your inventory in Diamond Dynasty. It only gets added to that current showdown run. So you have a team here with a bunch of bronzes. It will basically show you just like in the draft four choices of silver players and you will pick that player according to what you need the most on your diamond dynasty showdown run and the silver perk is going to show you four silver perks you're going to pick the one once you read it that will best influence your team in terms of hitting in terms of pitching now as you guys can see if we were to skip all the way to the end which by the way you can literally beat these three and then skip all the way to the end you can beat this mini boss the first mini boss and then beat this mini game and then get all the way to the end or skip all the way to the end you can skip all the way to the end whenever you want to but as you guys can see we're down 0 to 15 so if we were to not play a game at all we would be taking this roster as you guys see it right here all the way to the final boss and trying to come back with 20 outs down 15 now big piece of advice whenever you're facing the final showdown boss or whenever you're facing one of these bosses, you want to go ahead and pinch hit for the pitcher because you'll never have to pitch. It is strictly only hitting. So once you complete these mini games, you will be getting runs added to your total score. So as you guys see, we have zero right there. If we complete this, we get a one added. If we don't complete it, nothing happens to us. We just don't get the player. We don't get the perk. We don't get the runs and we don't get the rewards. As soon as you go ahead and beat it, although you get the run, you get the player added, you get the perk added, you get the rewards and you get the experience. So by playing these three mini games, which I say mini games, but it's really super simple. Usually they're not even longer than an inning. Most of the times they're not even longer than I would say six at bats. So if you were a new player, great way to start off the game, great way to make your stubs back. Look at this. You're gonna get two, four runs in total. You're gonna get three silver players. And out of the 1000 stubs you just spent, you just made 300 back. So now you're only down 700. You go ahead and beat the first mini boss. You get yourself a gold player, a gold perk, and then one silver pack. Since that silver pack is not within the left hand side of the rewards, which are right there, since it's up here, that means that silver pack is gonna be awarded to your pack opening inside your inventory for your actual team, not for the showdown team. You would also be getting 500 stubs and 2000 experience. So you were down 700, now you're only down 200. Then you would be getting another run added to you once you play this mini game. Now, instead of being down, what was it before, 11, you're only down 10. And then as you continue with the mini games, the amount of showdown runs increase, but it never increases to three. It just increases by two. And any of the blues, as I said previously, you can fail, but the reds, as soon as you fail, you basically gotta restart. So if you feel comfortable after getting yourself four runs and getting a bunch of upgrades to your team, this in total is gonna give you four, five, seven, nine. If you feel comfortable down 
15 to 9, basically down six runs. You need to score seven to win. If you think you can score seven runs within 20 outs, then you can skip right here and not face this final boss or this mini boss, actually. But if you want to get the diamond upgrades to your team and you don't think your lineup is still good enough, then I would suggest you continue playing. And you can get all the way up to 15 15 and then only have to score one run with 20 out if you play every single game and obviously if you play every single game if you play every single boss you're going to be making stubs back in terms of a profit you're going to be spending 1000 and then in total this is 100 200 300 800 900 1k 1 1.1 1 1.6 1 1.7 1 1.8 1 1.9 and then on top of that you get an extra k so you spent 1000 to go in and then you're walking out with a profit of 1,900, which basically pays for the next run. And you're always going to be walking out with the profit as long as you beat the showdown. Plus, you're going to be getting vouchers, which you're going to be exchanging into the team affinities and getting diamonds that way. And in general, that is going to be the way you create a team full of diamonds in the beginning of the game. You're going to be getting stubs, packs, etc., which is going to allow you to buy the bullpen because usually in team affinities, there are no bullpen players. But let's talk about some of the team affinity rewards that are currently already inside the game that have been revealed to us just so you can see what these rewards look like. So we're going to go ahead and transfer over to my and we're going to look strictly at some of these so you have andrew mccutcheon from the philadelphia phillies he's a left fielder as you guys can see the attributes are nice if you watch the 3 p.m video you're going to be saying to yourself wow he's going to be an amazing hitter but his fielding is going to suck that's unfortunate because i don't know if i want a left fielder that sucks out there there's players like anthony santander bo bichette dansby swanson david fletcher dominic smith fran mid reyes John Carlos Stanton, Jack Flaherty, Jason Hayward, Jesus Luzardo, Joey Gallo, Jose Berrios, Cabrian Hayes, Cattell Marte, Luis Castillo, Max Muncy, Mike Yesremski, Nico Goodrum, Patrick Corbin, Salvador Perez, Trent Grisham, Willie Adamas, Sandra Bogarts, Jordan Alvarez. So, as you guys can see, there are 25 players listed so far. We're still missing five teams. They're most likely going to be releasing it today, but because I'm, re I'm recording this video early in the morning, I most likely won't have them yet available. But as you all can see, you can get yourself a pretty nice starting eight in terms of the lineup, and you can get yourself maybe three pitchers to start the game off with, and that's going to be your no money spent team. It's just going to take you hours of grinding, and throughout the hours of grinding, you're going to be making stubs, you're going to be getting packs, and through those packs, you might get lucky and pull some diamonds to either sell and improve your team in terms of pitching, or you might be getting gold pitchers, gold relievers to add to your bullpen where you won't have to stress out about not getting any diamonds from team affinities. But that's basically how you go ahead and build a team from no money spent in MLB The Show. If you are a new player, I would suggest heavily investing in just learning how to play Showdown and getting all my players through Showdown because it is going to improve your skill set and it's also going to allow you to improve how you perform under pressure because in Showdown, you are usually always down. Now, when the game drops, of course, I'm going to be doing showdown runs and I'm going to be doing showdown guys to help you guys with the drafting, to help you guys with the mini games, etc. So I can do my best to help you ensure a victory each and every single time you enter showdown. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Stay tuned. Make sure you go ahead and click on the channel, Blade Miss 2.0, Blade Miss Reacts. Subscribe to those community tab interact with me there follow me on Twitter Instagram on my socials Which are listed above me have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and I'll catch you all on the next one peace out